So this is a good little summary of, of bleeds. Okay, so here's our normal CAT scan. So give you a, a sort of summary of different types of bleeds. Normal CAT scan, this is a subdural hematoma. You can see the acute subdural hematoma where you see that the blood is bright. You know, it's hyper and hyper dense and it's crescentic in nature. So it's following the shape and contour of the brain as opposed to an epidural hematoma where the blood is, is outside the dura, but inside the skull. And that's where the dura is actually, you know, it's, it's got a uh, adherence to the inner table of the skull. So when you tear a blood vessel that's epidural, it forms this, this lentiform shaped uh, abnormality. This is a small epidural. Um, oftentimes they're significantly bigger than that. This, so this is a subdural epidural. Then this is an intraparenchymal hemorrhage. This looks like almost a thalamic hemorrhage origin, but it's not just intraparenchymal. It's also intraventricular. You see that it fills the lateral ventricles uh, as well. So there's this is blood that's in the ventricle here with a fluid fluid level. You can see this flat line. So remember a CAT scan is taken with a person laying on their back. So uh, blood is going to be denser, so it's going to layer out, and it's layering out here. This is more clotted blood. If we waited a couple of days, this blood would also layer out. So we've got intraventricular blood, intraparenchymal blood related to a thalamic hemorrhage. This is an intraventricular hemorrhage on uh, letter E, where you have blood in the ventricle, not completely casting. Sometimes you'll get a massive intraventricular hemorrhage, and it will cast the entire ventricle system. That's not the case on this one. This is just a, a isolated interventricular hemorrhage. This is one form of a, an F is one form of subarachnoid hemorrhage. This is a subarachnoid hemorrhage. It looks, it looks aneurysmal. Why is it aneurysmal? Why does it look? Because it's in the it's in the basilar uh, cistern here. It's where the circle of Willis is, where where aneurysms tend to to form. And so this would be a highly suspicious. Uh, pattern of blood for an aneurysm. You can also see interhemispheric blood here, this white stuff right here. So this is a person who, if they came into the emergency room, typically with the worst headache of their life, they would need to get an angiogram to look at the blood vessels. Uh, going down to G, we have uh, blood where this is a person who's had an emergency craniotomy. You can see a, cr a craniectomy. You can see the skull is missing on this person. Looks like they have a drain in their head as well. There's some intraparenchymal blood right here. There's some intraventricular blood here. And they're saying there's some subarachnoid blood. Mm, I don't know if I see subarachnoid blood. Maybe here, but this looks like a drain. And then there is some subdural blood on the opposite side as well. You can see some subdural blood there. H, uh, intraparenchymal hemorrhage. There's also some stroke here. You can see this hypodensity and subarachnoid. There's intraventricular blood. You can see it layering in the occipital horn here. And subarachnoid blood, maybe this bright spot right here. Although again, this looks so, so dense. It looks more like a drain of some sort. Here's another what looks like a, a drain. This is a, probably an inter, uh, interventricular catheter or a EDD. And you can see some slight hemorrhage inter, intraparenchymal. Another one combination intraparenchymal blood right here. This is a frontal lobe hemorrhage. Looks like a hemorrhagic stroke um, and some subdural blood. Maybe some subdural blood here. I'm not seeing a lot of subdural blood. And uh, next one, subepidural hematoma, which is this blood right here. Looks like this person has had a craniotomy. You can see the, the lines here. And then I didn't get this one. This one says subdural hematoma. I don't, I don't see a subdural there. Maybe up here in the temporal fossa, but it's hard to see in one slice. It's not a great slice. So this is a nice uh, slide to, to compare uh, all the different types of hemorrhages. Okay, um, any questions? Anybody got a, something they want to talk about, share with the group?